Imagine yourselves as these tiny cities. The streets are littered with damaged proteins, even invading bacteria. And autophagy is like the cleanup crew that sweeps in and breaks down the trash and recycles it into energy or new building blocks. I really don't like to fast, but I do care about my body not aging faster than is absolutely necessary. And autophagy plays a big part in that. Basically, when autophagy kicks in, your cells get a reset. And who doesn't want that? So can a pill really spark autophagy? Yeah, I'm turning 50 this summer and I wanna slow down aging as much as I can. What is autophagy? The word comes from Greek meaning self-eating, which sounds weird, but it's actually a very good thing. Autophagy is your body's natural recycling system. Scientists call it a key player in staying healthy and slowing down aging. Autophagy is so important that Yoshinori Oshumi won a Nobel Prize in 2016 for figuring out how it works. Basically, when autophagy kicks in, your cells get a reset. And who doesn't want that? I definitely do. So why should you care about autophagy? Besides, you know, keeping your skin and hair youthful. Research links autophagy to some pretty big benefits. It might help protect against diseases like Alzheimer's, cancer, and heart disease by clearing out cellular trash. Plus, it can boost energy and keep your metabolism going. But here's where the bad news comes in. Autophagy doesn't just happen all the time, right? It's like a dormant superpower that needs a trigger. And that's where supplements and fitness or fasting come in. Now let's look at fitness and supplements and how they differ. Fitness, working out, whatever you want to call it, resistance training, cardio, is one of the best ways to kickstart autophagy. When you work out, your body goes into stress mode in a good way. The stress signals your cells to clean house. For example, studies show that aerobic exercise like running or cycling ramps up autophagy in muscle cells. One 2018 study in Nature found that just 30 minutes of cardio in mice boosted autophagy markers. Resistance training like lifting weights does it too, especially in your muscles as they repair and grow. The harder you push, when you think of high intensity interval training or long endurance sessions, the more your cells feel the pressure and trigger that cleanup. The good thing is that exercise is free. You don't even really need a gym. There is a lot you can do at home, even high intensity interval training, right? There are plenty of amazing videos on YouTube. I do HIT or high intensity interval training twice per week. And then I also do 30 minutes of uphill walking on the treadmill, like a 13 incline and the speed set at three, I do that twice per week. Not on the same days as the high intensity training, obviously. But yeah, this takes effort and consistency. I definitely liked finding out that pretty moderate exercise triggers autophagy as well, not just sprinting or taking some insane and insanely expensive boot camp or spinning class, right? Like I said, twice a week, I do 30 minutes of uphill walking on the treadmill I could still have a conversation if I wanted to. It doesn't really feel like a hard workout, but I know that it's very, very good for my body. Now, much easier, but definitely more expensive is the supplement route. So can a pill really spark autophagy? Yeah. So first we have resveratrol. I'm sure you've heard of it. You find it in red wine and grapes, but supplements pack a much bigger punch. Studies like one from Cell Metabolism in 2011 suggest it mimics calorie restriction, a known autophagy trigger, right? Fasting. Resveratrol activates sirtuins, supporting mitochondrial function and promoting autophagy. Sirtuins are a family of proteins that regulate cellular health, metabolism, and longevity by promoting DNA repair, reducing inflammation, and enhancing autophagy, ultimately slowing down the aging process. I take 500 milligrams of resveratrol daily. I wanna share some exciting news with you. Because a full head of hair is something that I care a lot about, I have launched my own hair growth serum, and I believe it rises above the other popular serums out there. How's that, you might ask? Well, my hair growth boost serum contains an award-winning ingredient, and that is Denzidol, which is made from microalgae. The serum additionally incorporates several potent ingredients without added alcohol or fragrance. A bit more about Denzidol. Denzidol, developed by a company called Algactive, has proven effects in enhancing hair density and reducing hair loss. A five-month clinical study was conducted to evaluate the efficacy of Algactive's Densidil. The trial focused on its effects on hair loss, hair density, gray hair reduction, amazing, and scalp health. Key findings of that study were a 25.9% increase in hairs in the antigen or growth phase 
and an 11.43 increase in overall hair density, demonstrating the product's ability to promote hair growth. So this shows a four-fold increase in hair density compared to EGF, or epidermal growth factor, and a two-fold increase compared to minoxidil. Volunteers also experienced a significant reduction in gray hair with visible improvements in natural hair color. So scalp hydration improved by 26.7%, enhancing overall scalp health. Densidil combines extracts from two microalgae species, spirulina and chlorella. Spirulina provides phycocyanin, which is a blue pigment that activates the NRF2 pathway, enhancing the hair's antioxidant defenses and protecting against oxidative stress. Chlorella offers xanthophils, which are pigments that inhibit cortisol levels and boost melatonin activity, countering the harmful effects of stress on hair follicles and promoting cellular repair. The serum also contains the active bicapil complex. Bicapil is linked to improved follicle anchorage and reduced hair loss. But of course, the serum also contains rosemary oil, which is a true superstar when it comes to boosting circulation to the scalp. Most rosemary serums that I've tried in the past are very oily, and this one really isn't. The texture is very light, and you don't have to wash your hair twice, like I had to after trying some of these serums. Next, the serum has ginger. Ginger contains active compounds like gingerol and singiberine, which stimulate blood flow to the scalp. Improved circulation ensures that hair follicles receive more oxygen and nutrients, promoting healthier and faster hair growth. Licorice root extract is another key player. It soothes the scalp and reduces buildup, creating the perfect environment for your hair to grow. And last, to give your hair and scalp that extra boost, we've added vitamin C and vitamin A. These antioxidants help fight free radicals and support collagen production, which as we know, is essential for healthy, resilient hair. So click on the link in the description box to order a bottle or to find out more. Physotin is next. Physotin is a naturally occurring flavonoid primarily found in strawberries, apples, cucumbers, red onions, and other fruits and vegetables. And it's been gaining significant attention for its potent anti-aging properties. Recent studies highlight physotin's ability to act as a powerful senolytic agent, which means selectively targeting and removing senescent uh, or aged or dysfunctional or zombie cells, how they're sometimes called, from tissues, which reduces inflammation and rejuvenates tissue function and potentially extends lifespan. By clearing senescent cells, physetin reduces age-related deterioration and improves the overall health of multiple organ systems, including the brain, cardiovascular system, and muscles. Moreover, physetin significantly stimulates autophagy. By enhancing autophagy through the activation of AMPK or and inhibition of mTOR, mechanistic target of rapamycin pathways, physetin helps maintain optimal cellular function, protects against oxidative stress, and slows cellular aging. So there's a dual action going on, senolytic and autophagy, which really positions physetin as a promising supplement to combat aging, improve cognitive health, and support longevity. I actually don't take a physetin supplement, but I add frozen strawberries to my breakfast smoothie every day, and they contain a lot of physetin. If you want that recipe, click on the link below. I'll send you a free PDF. Another contender is spermidine, a compound in foods like aged cheese and soybeans. Research in science from 2016 showed it boosts autophagy and even extended lifespan in mice. Spermidine directly stimulates autophagy pathways, reducing cellular damage and enhancing longevity. It also reduces inflammation and oxidative stress, which is always good. You can buy spermidine supplements, but they are very expensive. I instead put a tablespoon of wheat germ in my breakfast smoothie every day. Wheat germ is the heart of the wheat berry, and it has incredible health benefits, and it contains a ton of spermidine. And it's a lot cheaper than spermidine supplements. And most likely also more efficient in crossing the blood barrier because it's a real food. Next up, quercetin. It activates autophagy pathways and reduces cellular senescence. Quercetin is a potent plant-derived flavonoid abundant in foods like onions, apples, berries, and also green tea. And it's recognized for its significant anti-aging and autophagy-enhancing properties. It promotes cellular rejuvenation, primarily by activating AMPK or a crucial regulator of autophagy and by suppressing mTOR, 
thereby facilitating the clearance of damaged proteins and cellular debris. But that's not all. Quercetin acts as a powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory agent, reducing oxidative stress and inflammation, which are two fundamental drivers of aging, thus protecting us against age-related cellular dysfunction, supporting cardiovascular and cognitive health, and ultimately promoting longevity. Before the end, one quick note on fasting. Like I said, I'm not a fan, but what I've recently started doing is this. My eating window is 12 hours and my not eating window is 12 hours. It's not hard. The not snacking when watching TV is tough at first, but you get used to it. And the benefits are supposed to be very similar to some more intense fasting, like the popular eat for eight hours and fast for 16 hours. No, thank you. Walter Longo wrote a book called The Longevity Diet, and he's a big advocate of this 12-12 split. And it's been working for me. Let me know what you think once you've tried it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.